During my first semester at TUM, I struggled a lot. I will offer advice I would like to give to my younger self because this would have made my life much easier and my grades far better. My advice will focus on making friends, what Tum has to offer, dealing with imposter syndrome and managing time and organization. Looking back, I realized that I sucked in all the things. However, by watching this video till the end, you will be already far better prepared than I was when I first started studying management and technology at Tum. Let's dive into it. Chapter one, friends. Starting your studies means leaving your parents' house and your friends for the first time. Therefore, you need to find new friends. Imagine arriving at the campus doors and seeing hundreds of unknown people at the welcome event. People had stylish outfits and there were many people who were several years older than I was. Suddenly, I felt like I don't belong there. I was overwhelmed and felt so small. But the thing is, everyone does. When you arrive at the university, every single person feels that way. Don't wait till somebody talks to you. Everyone is happy if you approach them, so talk to them. Back then, I was afraid and shy. In school, there were many small groups and you usually only spend time with your few friends. And it was a bit awkward talking to other people, but at the university, people are much more open, welcoming and willing to talk to each other. Groups overlap, blend, mix, which means you will get to know many amazing people if you talk. However, even though everyone is more open in general, go to the many events in the beginning of the first semester. This is the time where you have the chance to meet so many people and this is the time where everyone needs new friends and is the most open to connect. Chapter 2 Overwhelmed. Once the semester starts, you will have less free time due to attending classes, balancing university, leisure time, attending events, and so on. Therefore, I suggest that you get as much information as possible before the semester begins. I would specifically recommend you to do the following three things. Firstly, read through the academic and exam regulations. This contains information on how many credits you need to have in each semester, what requirements you must meet before starting your thesis, and many other things. Although it may be a bit painful to go through that, you don't need to remember every detail. But having an overview, it will put you ahead of most other students. Second, have a look at the module catalog and read through the classes that you are interested in. There it is written what the class will cover, what the exam will look like, when the retake exam is and more. With this knowledge, you can decide which classes you want to take and also how to study for the exam. Thirdly, TUM has various programs and as you may need to apply for different things early in the semester, I recommend reading through what TUM offers and figure out what you would like to do. Especially the student clubs, the language center and the university sports center are some areas you should definitely have a look at. You can find links to them in the video description. And if you can afford it, think about not working during your first semester so that you can take the time to adjust to your new life, try different programs, clubs and establish a routine. I was working in the first semester, but looking back, I would rather have time to figure everything out. Chapter 3. Imposter Syndrome When I started meeting more people at university, I experienced imposter syndrome a lot. To be honest, I still occasionally have this feeling. Imposter syndrome is a psychological phenomenon where one doubts their skills, talents or accomplishments. And I guess this is just normal. If it is competitive to get into a program at TUM, it is only natural that you will be surrounded by ambitious students that put effort into their studies. While I had average grades in school, I suddenly found myself below average with my program and had to get used to it. If you have seen more of my videos, you know that I am now amongst the best students, but it took several semesters to figure out how university works and how I work. In one of my next videos, I will talk about the mistakes I did in regard to studying in my first semester, so subscribe to not miss it. Anyway, back then I met many people that seemed to know much more than I did and that seemed to be able to study without any effort. However, it's important to remember that everyone struggles. Comparing oneself to others doesn't make sense because there will always be someone with better grades. Except you're the one, then please teach me. But those people might maybe have fewer friends, might have less free time, or maybe they do not work while studying. And honestly, grades do not matter that much. Compare yourself only to your past self. If you get better grades than last semester, then that's a win. University is not a competition, it is a place where you get further if you work together with other students so become friends with them. Grades are not everything and it's essential to maintain a balanced life by making time for friends and other activities. Chapter 4. Organization and time management. The transition from school to university is a big change. At university, I was suddenly independent. No more parents that would tell me to do my homework. No classes where I had to go. And on top of that, I had to take care of cooking and cleaning. This is probably the first time for many of you where you can determine for yourself what is right for you and how you want your life to be without someone standing behind you and saying that you should start learning, right? <laughs> that does not happen. At the beginning, there's a lot going on. A lot of people, a lot of university parties, so many offers that you want to try out and yes, there is also studying and then it quickly falls by the wayside. It was like that with me. I didn't handle it very well. 
So sit down and think about how you want to deal with all of this. There's no right way, so try it out. Try out a lot in the first semester. How you organize yourself, what is important to you, how you can learn well, what you like to eat. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That is why I highly recommend using a calendar to manage your time. Instead of just scheduling your classes, think about when you want to study for math, when you want to do exercises, and block out time for those tasks. I don't want you to study all day long, but it's important to have an overview of how you can manage your classes and studying and, of course, free time. At the beginning of each semester, I create a default week where I fill in all the recurring classes and other activities and also schedule which day I will study for each class to be well prepared. This helps me to study only before noon, while getting above average grades. In future videos, I will talk about time management and organization, but that will be another video on its own. Having a plan does not mean that it's fixed and that you're not allowed to deviate from it. Instead, it's a tool that helps you to structure your life, but you can adjust the structure whenever you want. You should also take enough free time for yourself. It's not about studying as much as possible from morning to night for a few weeks and then burning out, but it's about creating a daily routine that you can and want live for several years. Take time for your friends, hobbies, sports, good food and a good sleep. Pay attention to your physical and mental health. If you don't take care of yourself, you won't perform as well in your studies and will have less fun. That would be stupid, right? Rather have more fun and better grades at the same time. Take care of yourself physically and mentally so that you can achieve the best possible results over several years. All right, you're amazing. Keep growing, this is only the beginning.